everyone, I'm Eric, co-founder of Firecrawl. Today we're excited to introduce Search, our endpoint that allows you to search and scrape all with one API call. This has been our number one most requested feature for months. Whether you're building with agents, doing research, finding leads, or working on SEO optimization, you need to find and get the right web data in a great format. Now you can get it all with one API call. With this, we're not only reinventing page discovery for devs, but also agents. Let me show you how it works. So here we are in the Firecrawl Playground on the search tab. I'm going to type in best hosted Postgres databases. And for search options, going to click Markdown because we want to not only search, but also scrape. So here we are, we have all of our results back with their corresponding Markdown. This would be super helpful if we wanted to do some sort of competitive analysis or genuinely find the best Postgres provider. Funnily enough, our friends over at Superbase took the number one spot. Using search and code is also straightforward. Here's a quick demo app we built in Replit to show you the basics. So as you can see, search can be integrated simply by importing Firecrawl and then using firecrawl.search in your query. You can plug in all of your favorite scrape options like formats, et cetera, right in the scrape options parameter. In this app, we're using search to generate a whole slideshow based on search results. So we're gonna run this with pnpm run start and we're gonna generate a slideshow based on our friends at Together. So here we're searching for Together AI and just like that, we generated a complete slideshow based on the results it found and scraped. We've also added search to all of our integrations like Zapier, N8N, MCP and more. Here's what it looks like inside of Cursor using our MCP. So here we are in Cursor. We want to create an image generation app using OpenAI's latest model but the problem is the model that's powering cursor agent actually wasn't trained on this data. So we're gonna have to search for the latest documentation for OpenAI and then use that to implement. We asked the agent to research with Firecrawl, the latest image generation model from OpenAI, and then implement an example in our file. It goes ahead and calls our MCP tool. And then just like that, the latest OpenAI image generation model has been implemented. And let's try it out. Going to run it in terminal, and a couple of seconds later, we have a cat on the beach, completely generated with OpenAI's newest model, thanks to Firecrawl. Lastly, to show you it's possible on a bigger scale, we built FireSearch, an open source deep research app powered by the new endpoint. It's a great example of what you can build. So here we are on FireSearch. We're gonna ask it to compare the latest iPhone 16 Pro with the Samsung Galaxy S25. So first it's gonna analyze a request, come up with a bunch of different search queries for different aspects of the question, and then it's gonna use search to start searching and scraping the results. As you can see, scraping Apple, T-Mobile, Samsung, all of these different websites and getting the markdown to go with it. After it's analyzed all of the gathered information, it creates a comprehensive answer. And a few seconds later, we have a complete report complete with citations and follow-up questions, all powered by search. The code for Fire Search is in our templates library if you wanna dig in. You can also try the live version with the link below. And that's search. It's the simplest way to discover and scrape web pages. We're so excited to see what you built it. See you next time.